probably the last place on earth you'd want to drive one of these cars because it's, the track's tight. Fast road cars are always compromised on a racetrack because the tyre grip doesn't really keep up with the power of the car. So, but it's it's quite a you know it's nicely composed. If you use too much throttle, it wheel spins and wiggles and shimmies and you know it's actually what I would expect. It's just a fast road car. The brakes are very good, although once again road, road car brakes are slightly compromised because I started to get a bit of fade on the second lap, so it became you know less effective. But it's early on, it's fantastic. It's, it's just a you know it should be at home on a on an auto barn rather than Winton racetrack, but it, it's a good way to exploit it anyway, and, and it's a beautiful motor car. I'd like to own one. Lap times of both those cars are within a tenth of a second of each other, so it's pretty amazing. But they're so different in character. This, I would have thought this was quicker because it's really quite poised, much more poised than the Mercedes. It suits the racetrack more. It's kind of race bred, if you want to term it like that. Uh, the Mercedes has got more grunt, just more brute force. This is actually more of a pleasant drive on, on a track. Now let's face it, most people that own these cars don't take them to the track that often, but you know, uh, it's also manual, which means you know, you've got the right gear at the right time and you, you're in control of it. Even a really good automatic like the Mercedes has got is not completely at your fingertips. So, um, mm. you know, like I truly reckon, I mean, I'm a great, exponent of the Australian motor industry and I think uh, for them to produce this a car like this that has this performance, this poise, this image for less than 100 grand is pretty remarkable to be honest.